I think for me, it was growing up, I, I didn't know anybody who was like me that also played hockey, which made it a lot more difficult for me to be comfortable in my own skin. So I think having more representation um, is extremely important. It would have made my um, and my current um, hockey career a lot more better. I'm Charlotte Melindy. I play on the Queens women's hockey team. Obviously, I'm a part of this community and I'm 19 years old. How did Charlotte get into hockey? Um, I got into hockey when uh, my neighbor was actually playing before me and I was about four years old and I saw her playing and then immediately wanted to. So my parents put me in and that was that. I love that so much. It's, uh, it's funny to hear how different people get into the sport and then look at you now, you've gone on to play youth sport and mm -hmm. you're, you're going with it. I love it. Yeah. What do you love about hockey? Um, I think my favorite thing about hockey is kind of like the sense of family and friendship I have with my team. I, I love the sport 100%, but I think just having that extra like sense of family around me, always having that support is really important to me as well. Yeah, that community that we build in the sport is so incredible and so wonderful. Mm -hmm. How could hockey be better for you in your queer identity and also for the community as a whole? Um, I think that there's a lot, of, always a lot of talk about like acceptance and how we need to be more accepting. And I think um, we've done a better job at that. I think now it's more just about like representation because um, I've always felt very accepted and seen personally. And I know not everyone has that experience, but um, I think for me, it was growing up, I, I didn't know anybody who was like me that also played hockey, which made it a lot more difficult for me to be comfortable in my own skin. So I think having more representation um, is extremely important. It would have made my um, and my current um, hockey career a lot more better. Yeah, I really like that. And, and frankly, I'm, I'm like over acceptance too. I don't believe in acceptance at all. And, and I'll tell you why. I think acceptance creates hierarchies, mm -hmm. that people are above us and mm -hmm. we're all equal and we deserve equal treatment. We deserve to feel the same in locker rooms. We deserve to feel comfortable coming out so that we have that representation that you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So knowing all this and knowing you know, that there's a lack of representation and whatnot in this sport. What keeps you here? Um, I think that it's like, I think it's important that we like representation is only going to get better if more and more people are doing it. I think that was why I was so keen to do this interview is because like, again, I never really had someone to look up to or I never thought I did. And not that anyone will watch the interview and be looking up to, like some like me, but just seeing people talk about it and doing interviews, I think that's um, why I stay doing it because I think it's so important. And also, of course, I love the sport. So, I disagree with you on one point. Mm -hmm. I think people will see it and look up to you. I think you're <laughs> going to help. Um, there's going to be a kid out there whose parent sees this, and they're going to go, "Look, there's a hockey player at Queens," and and they're out. And they're happy and they're they're thriving living their life that can be you too yeah. so so somebody will look up to you so don't discount the impact of your story thank you what gives you hope for queer people in the sport um initiatives like this i think um more and more uh more and more people like oh like being very much open about how they um, are like our feeling I know like the NFL player came out the other day and not that it should be everyone's saying not that it should be that important but it is important again so that we can um, like see a lot more people in like sporting community especially hockey because I think that's where it's needed the most um, just like being open and yeah it's so true representation matters visibility matters and it is important because there aren't enough people out mm -hmm. to look up to you so we see ourselves, you know, I, I think straight people miss that point because um, their parents are typically straight. Yeah. 
So they see themselves every day and they have that representation and every athlete out there is presumed to be straight. So they always feel comfortable in those settings. We don't necessarily have that ever. Yeah. We don't see ourselves anywhere until people have the courage like uh, the player did to come out. You know what I mean? And, and we need more of that. Yeah. Charlotte, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, I just hope that anyone that's watching feels like more comfortable and that you always have a large community of hockey players behind your, behind your back. We're everywhere and we're a big community and we're a loving community. And, and from what I've seen doing this, we will rally. Yeah. And uh, having people like you share your story is uh, a rallying point that hopefully sparks other people to feel comfortable sharing theirs. So Charlotte, I'd like to thank you because you're going to help change the world. Well, thank you very much for letting me do this.